Warning, this podcast contains spoilers. everyone and welcome to another episode of the As Seen on TV podcast for Wow. For Agents of Shield season four, episode twenty one, The Return. I'm your host, Mike. Joining me is the bubble blowing Cleo. Hi. The hidden face Jake. Hi. 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 <gasps> and Rachel. Hi. I love it. Sorry, don't have any like face paint one. Or dyed bangs or I bubbles. Have no props. Sorry. I don't. I don't either. I could have been Robbie. Sorry. <laughs> Got my jacket and everything. My only prop. Um I don't have one. I have is chocolate. This, is I have ibuprofen on my desk. That's ball that's it. been thrown at me by my oh. by my daughter about how many times. Oh, it's a ball. Mm-hmm. Look like one of those little chocolate faces. I think it's a. Squ- I think it's supposed to be a stress ball because it's really squishy, but it's not like Sounds gel like or anything. Anyway, um, oh boy. So the first Easy. full episode that they are out of the framework. Yes. Hoy. Now, Coulson and May seem to be taking it pretty well. Now, I mean, May is always kind of, the, you know, been the stoic warrior, so I guess she can, you know, settle her demons and stuff like that somehow. And Coulson's just very chill about the whole thing. Like, I was a history teacher, and I was kind of a conspiracy nut. Honestly, not too is- far oh. off base. No, really. Really not. Really not. And then, um... And then you got Fitz, who is, like... He's freaking out. Yeah. Okay. That's the only way to describe it. I mean, he... listen, if I uh, woke up and found out I was a Nazi. If, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, he has a lot to, uh, what's the word I'm looking at? Uh, Uncomprehend and, and try to reconcile with himself. He has a lot. I mean, like I said, I think I said last, last time that he's, he has to be freaking out because he, he did probably never thought he had that in himself, in him to be that way. And that's scary to think that that possibly, that could have been the path that you went down if your dad would have stayed or if your dad would have taken, taken Mm -hmm. him. I mean, that's kind of freaky in itself. I mean, seeing what alternate life he could have had. Yeah, I agree. Um, I just feel really bad for Fitz. Because he's oh. out of the framework, collecting his thoughts, freaking out, calms down, and then Ada walks in and teleports his ass out of there. <laughs> Let's yeah. freak out some more! He's just like, I want to puke. I need to throw up somewhere. I need to do something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice sandy beach is a great place to do that. Thank you, Ada, for all that. But He looked... He's so scared, and I don't blame him. But to quote uh, Coulson, can we just get a break already? No. You might at the end of the season. I get it. Maybe, I don't know. No Um, breaks at all. No breaks. So, no breaks because Ada teleports out and then the Russian walks in. Oh, yay. I forgot. Our favorite character. The Russian. He's a cockroach. I say the word Russian and the cat gets really, like, aggressively affectionate. Uh she knows i can hear her purring. she wants yeah and there's nothing i can really do about this so anyway um she has a crush on the russian mm-hmm, she, she has, has a, crush a crush on the russian well he's good looking yes but yeah. we'll, we'll say that for another he's all right we'll no honestly honestly thoughts. this whole episode i was like you are repulsive to me but you have really good hair like stop having such good hair he and has good hair. Like every gross. picture, every picture I've seen of him, he has like long. He'll have long hair, he's short good hair, hair. And, and he has really good hair. He's got great hair. You're right. Great hair. Very defined jawline. Mm-hmm. All that other stuff. 
Very punchable face. Uh, very punchable face. But I forgot how long May, the real May, was actually out of it. Yeah. And you she know, doesn't, we had to catch her up. Yeah, yeah. it kind of you. Hit me. You need May. You should watch these shows. You know, we do great. <laughs> yeah. Like it kind of hit me all of a sudden. Like holy shit, May has been out of this for like ten episodes almost. Mm-hmm. Should have set up the day spa. But you know, her reaction. Oh, oh gosh, that said. was so funny. She should have stayed at the spa, exactly. And then, you know, who the hell is this guy? Too long to explain, but you can definitely shoot him. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not going to go into it right now. We'll do it later. But you're going to want to kill him. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you a float chart and everything. Long story, shoot him. And then it dawned on me, you know, another thing. Crap, he's a robot. Yeah. And he has his head hidden. Found that out. He hid his head. That's actually a very good precaution. Nobody, yeah. including Ada, knows where your head is. You're the only one. That's a really good idea. And I did not know, Ow. and it became apparent as this went on. There was clones of clones. I mean, how many robots did they make of him? Yeah. I mean, it's more extreme version of what Ada did to herself. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. A much more extreme version, yeah. Now, here's the question. Did she do that herself? Or did no. he start making more of himself? I want to say he did it. I think she... Oh, you know what? He could have done it. You're right. I don't know. I don't think She Ada did would, seem uh, shocked that there was another one of him after she... Another one? There's so Whatever she did to him. Because... Uh, that that when was... They... Great yeah. job for marrying sex and violence, Ada. Ugh. Oh my god. You know, if there was god. if I wanted to vomit over any like if I wanted to vomit more over like cuz like Fitz and, and her when they did the thing I was like Bleh. but then she was doing that to the Russian I was just like Bleh. No, Granted, but, he had a nice chest. He's a he's a robot. But, yeah. Rips he's his shirt. Robot. Yeah, but it's Rips still gross. Shirt. It's like they're both very attractive people, but it's just like mm, you can't gross. do any, yeah. you can't do anything with him. It's a robot. What are you going to do? Now yeah. yeah, she is. We the, don't know. We don't know. He's what got full anatomy. Yeah, because mm. we don't know. We don't know what he's got. Right. She is the naive, you know, you know, Pinocchio who just became a real boy, or in this case, a real girl, and he just compared her to being an infant. Yeah. Like mentally and everything. Yeah. And you know, after two or three swigs of vodka, she's just like, "All right, that's it. Fuck my brains out." And uh, she. So this is what this is what uh, being human looks like. Apparently, see, it's all overwhelming for her. Girl, are you on your period or something? Because you well, were. We, we already suspected last well, last week. We said that she's going to be overwhelmed with everything, and it's just going to be coming at her. And we realized that when she took uh, Fitz to their private little house thing, wherever it was. You know, she was scared. She didn't want to die. And, you know, he was trying to tap into that, like, they don't want to die either. And we need to go get them and save them. And, you know, she was freaking out. And it's like, she's, she doesn't, she didn't realize her, the con, the, she didn't realize the magnitude of what she was doing to herself. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know how hard it is to think under pressure. Imagine if you've never had to think under pressure before. Imagine if you've never mm-hmm. felt pressure. Yeah. Or, Never felt anything. I mean, in her case, she made this house like, oh, it's going to ease the transition. I know you're living off of two worlds. And then all of a sudden it hits her. She's like, yeah, that was a better idea on paper. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, right? Now that I can feel feelings, this is like, this is kind of fucked up and creepy. Yeah. And she's trying to, she's trying to think like the robot, but she can't think like the robot because she's not a robot anymore. And so it's, it's fucking with her. It's like, I made, you know, I promise to make everyone happy, including who else? Uh oh. Well, what does that mean? Yeah. What does that mean? You don't know what <laughs> happiness feels like. How do you know what makes people happy? So yeah, and of course the Russians have none of that. But hey, Fitz convinces her to teleport Mac the hell out of the flooding, collapsing oil platform secret base. That was a good thing. Uh-huh. That was a good thing. And then the look like on her like face that. was just like, you know. Nearly like orgasmic joy. joy. Like, you know, just straight up like, holy crap, I love this feeling. And I'm like, was that an ice or... I'm like, was that an ice or did Simmons just, you know, pop a cap in her? 
No. I, I wondered the same thing, and then when she saw Fitz, no, she just iced him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was like she, she wasn't going to kill Fitz. It's like, I love this feeling. Pew! I don't like it anymore. <laughs> and then he's just like, Gemma, pew! you down. Mm-hmm. You didn't need to shoot Fitz. Yeah. Uh, well. She, uh, she doesn't know. And I was, if I was in Fitz's position, I would also be frustrated, you know, ten minutes after this, because... Yeah, you locked her in the inhuman containment room. It contained Gordon. It can contain her because she's pretty much got Gordon's power. As far as we, as far as they knew. As far as they knew. But <laughs> as Fitz starts yelling, nobody's listening to me. <laughs> like yeah. I'm the mad fucking scientist that helped her figure this shit out. Listen to me. <laughs> well, yeah. then he and then he yelled at uh, May. Yeah. He was like, "You know what we did there?" Yeah, and like, she was like. Oh, and shit, then all of a sudden it hit her, now. and she's just like, oh, shit, yeah, he's right. We're getting the fuck out of here. Because she's got a dozen inhuman powers. We probably haven't seen all of them yet. Mm-mm. She probably has all of them. Yeah. She probably but... went through every inhuman she could think of, or that she had records of, in the framework, or she watched and the studied X-Men their powers. And... Or she watched the X-Men movies. Well, no. She did what I thought she was going to do. When Fitz and her had the little talk, and he let her know that he was still in love with Gemma and was not going to be in love with her, she freaked out. Yeah, that was spectacular. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I knew it as soon as, like, she's like, I choose you. But then when he, you know, I was like, when she finds out, he's not choosing her. Ooh, it's going to be like, yeah, it's going to be like Armageddon. He responded in such a Fitz way. He's like, well, I... Calm down. down. Have some dip. <laughs> Relax. What happened to the empathy? We were just talking about empathy. Let's so go we back just told to you that. about empathy. Empathy is a good that. thing. You, you <laughs> like saving people. Let's go back and channel those feelings. <laughs> Let's go she save went, some more people. Oh, my God. She went, like, all carry and shit. She just... Oh, my God. We she were just scary. missing the blood. Yeah. yeah right? But She was... Well, she was temporarily. Scary. She was legit scary, and she didn't know that, you know, when she tried to blink him out, she's like, oh, she got even madder because of that. She's like, <laughs> she, we're stuck in here? What did you do? Like, instantly blames him. I'm like, get to the containment thing. Yep, get, you're human. Go, go, go. I knew he was going to get, I, he needed to get into that containment thing so bad. I was like, just go. It's like, that's not her only power. And then lightning out of the hands, like, Lightning plus lasers plus all that other fun stuff. Yeah. And then, so far, here's what we we've seen. Lincoln I miss still. Lincoln still, too. Ish. She was freaking I don't. out. And, you know, and like the Russian tell this, this is heartbreak. This is, that's what you're feeling. It's like, sorry, there's, there's nothing we can do for that. Time is what you need. And vodka. And alcohol. That was so funny. It's like time and vodka. She started <laughs> drinking. She was freaking out. I knew she was going to flip out because she's never felt that. I mean, so, it's one thing to feel all the good and the warm, fuzzy feelings. It's another thing to feel the hurt, the pain, all that other shit. I mean, we could barely, as humans, con- you know, contain that feeling. And yeah, I don't know. That feeling. I don't know how I would react if I got to the age I am now without ever feeling that and then feeling that for the very first time without being in any way prepared for it. Just a straight I don't up know. rejection. Uh, I don't know if I would go on a murder rampage. I don't know. But... Or kill yourself. I don't know, but you would probably be screwed in the head. You wouldn't know which end was up. Mm-hmm. Which is what she's at. Mm-hmm. So, thing, so powers we've seen. She could teleport. She could shoot lightning out of her fingertips. She can heal from any wound. And she has super speed. Because if you notice, when she teleported behind that shield, that one uh, soldier, she's looking around at everything, and he's just frozen there completely, and she pulls the trigger and shoots him, and then time speeds back up again. But you notice, you notice that, I mean, she got the lightning. I'm only guessing she got it from... Mm, that's why from, Lincoln's uh, dead. Because we did see... From Lincoln, who's was dead. His file uh, said they experiment on him, and he, was de- and he died. Uh-huh. Um... Probably it, Gordon was probably there, so yep. his teleportation, um, speed, um, 
Yo Yo. Now that we know Yo Yo, she was tied to a bed when we last saw her, and she probably took every power she could. Th- oh God, she probably took. I forget the lady's name, the blonde who could clone herself. I was actually going to mention that. I was like, uh, watch like next episode. She we, there's just a bunch of clones of her. Was it the girl redhead? She was redhead, I think. But you know, it's well, like, yeah, yeah, it was like a strawberry. Where's this healing thing come from? <sighs> Jia Ying. She, yeah, she I was going to say. She, except uh, you know, mom. the difference was that she had to like suck the life force out of people to heal herself. Yeah. This one's a little different. Wolverine. Or- I don't know. <laughs> Wolverine? Mutants, yet. But yeah, so these are all powers we've actually seen or have knowledge of. So. Oh boy. So this is going to be fun. Yay, everybody. Fun in a sadistic, creepy, fucked yeah, up. It's going to be fun on a bun. So, you know, I keep small list-like notes, bullet points, things I want to talk about for these shows, and I'm just going to quote what I wrote down here real quick. Talbot okay. is still a douche canoe. Yes. They, they were they were saying, oh, Talbot's been trying to contact our ship. I was like, oh, what if he wants to help you refuel? Because last time we saw him, he, like, he did a bro maneuver, you know? And I thought maybe it was going to be another bro maneuver, but he just barrels in, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I almost Hi, like, Talbot. When they were talking... When- when Fitz was like, who else, who else, you know, you, did you tell, I was like, oh god, who else did she clone? Who else did they, oh my god, did they clone Talbot? Talbot? Oh god, is he a robot now? Oh no, this is Talbot. This is yeah. Talbot, Talbot. But, but you know, it's, it's like. you know, he, as he put it, we came in, the place is leveled, there's bodies melt, everywhere. Like how many. Melted robot parts. Melted robot parts. How many <laughs> critical shield agents and, you know, dead people everywhere. It's like, you know, I guess I could see it from his point of view. Like, which one of you, you know, which one of you SOBs is a robot? And also, they, you know, because the Russian beat, um, what's his face's uh, bone, so it looked like Daisy mm-hmm. did it. Right, because Mace's, uh, yeah. his body Bones washed were... up on shore looking like he got quaked, mm-hmm. as they put it. Yeah. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. I don't think we're seeing him anytime soon. Well, who Talbot? Mm, no, Mace. Mace. He's dead. Oh, Mace, yeah. Mace, Mace is dead. Hey, no one ever stays dead on these. Did oh. you know that Coulson died? What? No, no. <laughs> no. Trip is the new Patriot. He is. The Mace is still dead. Well, I'm hoping they drag more people out of the framework and maybe, like, build bodies for them and shit like that, because... Well, because the machine is still in the framework. So, theoretically, someone else can use the machine, no, they the can't. looking glass. No, they can't. Because no, the, they pr- the printer was in the, uh, the oh. Russian installation that There's they blew also up. Also, makes a new printer. The oil rig, yeah. Mm-hmm. They'd have to make a new make, printer. I mean, you, Fitz you knows make, how. Oh Fitz can make another one. No, 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 no. What if that's what the Russian was putting on the... On the submarine, maybe he was putting he didn't the pack printer it up. up. He packed it up and put it on the submarine. Mm. Good point. Print he himself a real body. So he could put, yeah, become a real boy again. Yay. But I oh, think he's liking fine. the fact that he can't die right now. I think he's liking that. Yeah. I think he's liking the control of multiple bodies, which he's also too much of a bigot, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's the worst. No one's perfect. <laughs> that brings up a physiological and psychological question. Can the standard, you know, unaltered human mind control multiple bodies at once? Like, is it capable of it without some kind of sensory overload and going absolutely insane? It's like a hive mind. They all have one mind. We did that. Last I, th- I did time. think I did think it was kind of weird, though, when he was standing outside the door where she was getting 3D printed. And he's like, I don't like talking to myself. That was, was like oh. hilarious. I thought I was like, oh, he doesn't because the guy's not talking to him, so he's just like, oh, this no. a guy he standing there with a le- hammer. He, yeah, he was legitimately talking to himself. Yeah, <laughs> a different, a different himself. That was so funny. Oh, I almost forgot to mention my favorite scene: Agent May riding, you know, the Russian, the Black Widow. Yeah, oh yeah, pulling was... the Black Widow, riding him, and smashing and his brain out with a with a claw hammer. 
Yeah. Just yeah, a, that's a great. standard I hammer. She took all the the Black Widow it. and the Halloween. Yeah, I can't believe she took all the effort and effort just to get mm-hmm. her adrenaline. I was like, holy shit, you're going to fucking crap. I, I'm oh. going to beat the shit out of a robot with a hammer. So she can do this single handedly. <laughs> Daisy couldn't do this even with her powers. True. Yeah. I mean. I mean, Col- uh, and Coulson did use his little shieldy gadget to cut the one's face off. Yeah, that well, that, that's back. Mm-hmm. Why haven't you well, it's, that? it's built into his hand. Yeah, yeah exactly. So he can't for- yeah, he, you did forget about it. You can't forget about it. You didn't leave it somewhere. You've always had it. Why haven't you yeah. been using it? It's attached. Did you leave that hand <laughs> out? He does have different different hands, so maybe what he has left it at home a couple times. See, he had his credit card hand. <laughs> he had his credit card. <laughs> you tap so, it to the to the pin pad. Boop. So yeah, Yo Yo plugs herself into the framework. God, she after was so getting, pissed off at- she is ridiculously pissed at Daisy. Like, and you know what? She, she brought up the same point I brought up next last at the uh, week when we talked about it. Beat him Why over the head. Push him? Knock him out. Push him through. Break his legs. <laughs> I was like, break his legs. It's like, do any of that to drag him through. And it's like, no, he didn't want to leave hope. And th- oh, crap, his daughter real. exists there. Yeah. I know. Well, she and, I mean, and, and then Yo Yo's face was just like, oh. she's dead. Not there. She's 10 years old. And she's just like, shit. She's and like, I can't compete with the. 12, a <laughs> you can't just drag him over yeah. to the other side. Because even if he wakes up with his memories, like, there's still going to be that, I had my daughter, like... He's going to be pissed. Pissed, you know, I think he's going to be can't do that depressed. forcefully. She's not real. True, but... It doesn't matter. I mean, Coulson and May, you know... They, you ever played The Sims? It's like that. Yeah, they reconciled their, you know, two lives pretty quickly. Like it's you know, oh it's like waking up from another life, you know, but them too. it's not them real. Too. Those two. She's like, what? What happened between you and the other May? She's did trying Ro- to get all this. Yeah, I know. Did Robo me? Did Robo me make it weird? It's like, yeah. did she? Did, did she make a move on you? And I'm just like, did oh god, here it goes. You. Did she, she try to yeah, kill you? Yeah, yes, that's the yes. one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Totally that. Yep. Totally tried to kill totally. me. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I love the. Tell her, just tell her. We, we gotta have that that bottle of whiskey. It's like I had it already. You motherfucker! It's like <laughs> you piece. Of, she went to call him a piece of shit, but oh, the yeah, torpedo hit. Shit, that's right. It's like, dude, uh, dude just tell her. She, she says you. She like you could tell it wasn't me, right? He's like, uh, no. How long does it take? He's like, she's like, he's like, uh, this should keep it yeah. shut for a while. He's like totally avoiding her questions, and she's just like. Or when they land back in the base, like, oh my god, who did this? You? You? Why? To stop me. To stop, <laughs> stop him? <laughs> oh, oh, god. Okay, so that's a thing. That is a thing. Yeah, it was yeah, so... Yeah, it- when, when Coulson was like, oh, what, who, who, who was she trying to stop? I'm like, oh, that's right, Coulson wasn't around for that. It was Coulson's evil, you know, doppelganger. Mm-hmm. So, one, I was trying to figure out how they're doing, because next week is the finale. I think it's a two-hour finale, like they always do. Um, I was trying to figure out what would be the big bad. Well, it looks like it's going to be Ada and Mr. Many Russian. Told you! But they were both reading the Darkhold this episode. And he said, it's he's reading it, her brain. and he's looking through it like, there's actually some funny passages in here. And I'm like, really? That's part of what you desire? Is comedy? Like, Well, you know, he's kind of a loser, and he's probably never heard a joke before. This is why I believe he is. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't, what's going to happen to Ada if she starts reading it? Because she's not a robot anymore. Have, have, y'all seen, have y'all seen Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? Yep. The four, yeah. Do you remember what Easy. happened to that movie? That's what's going to happen. I don't think she's going to explode. I think she's just going to go more crazy than she already is. More crazy. I don't know how much more that could happen. Yeah. Well, their plan is to use the information maybe in she'll, book Maybe she'll be normal. To remake the world. Oh, God. And as Ada puts this it all creepily like... at the end, 
I want them all to suffer. This he, is not going to end the way they want it to end. It's not going to. And so, like, suffer, making wanting someone to suffer does not stem from hate. It stems from love. So, and and yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're really off. You're really off. So, unhinged. she, uh, um, whatever the hell they're planning and reading out of this book, whatever information it gave them, was enough to make Ghost Rider, you know, come back out of that portal from the other dimension. He's there to get I, her soul. I should, I should have painted something behind me. Oh, that's a great... I, I forgot. She's human now. Yeah, he's there to collect her soul. Yeah. Yeah. Or, well, I guess she does have a soul. I yep. don't know how that works. I don't know if she oh, has yeah. a soul. No, no, no. He's like, there. Does a human body come with one? It comes with one. It's free. It's free. You get it's one. Like, it's free. Well, it's it's you know what? Purchase. This was a mystical, like, Darkhold-inspired scientific device. So, because it's all magical and all that, it probably 3D printed her with a soul, as well and as 3D everything else. 3D printed the soul as well. Mm. Comes in a little case. With your I'm... purchase of your new body, you get a soul! I got... <laughs> and you get clothes so with it, too. so excited when Robbie here. walked through that portal. Hey, there were rumors so floating around that we were going to get him for the finale. And confirmed... I'm so happy. I am too. As soon did as you, you walk through that portal, I was yeah, like, did oh, that, did that fundraiser, did that fundraiser work, y'all? Maybe. Get enough money for one more episode. <laughs> uh, well, here's a couple of things. You know, pull, blow your budget, pull out all the punches for the, um, for the finale, because there is, now it's, it yeah, there's an, a looming possibility that this show is canceled. Unfortunately, really? yes. Huh. And mm-hmm. I haven't seen anything to the contrary in the past couple of weeks. It's just everywhere saying, you know, you know, Shield is on, like it's on thin ice. I don't know if that's the word. It's like it's teetering they, on the ledge. They put yeah. Shield in the dead slot. Yeah. So, but, and you know, uh, when you put it in that slot, not a lot of people are going to tune in live. <laughs> And that's what they care about, is when people watch it live. Mm-hmm. I don't watch any of my shows live. Do they re- is that really all they care about, is that live is, views? That's it. They don't care if you watch it online. I think if you, if, you DV- it. if you DVR it, I think it counts as live. I'm not not even on demand? Because they make you watch all those damn commercials. Yeah. But no, they... Like, if you're watching it online or if you're streaming it, they really don't care. They look at the views when it airs. That's so ridiculous. They do that for a lot of shows. There's a lot of people out there who bitch about how the rating system is very outdated. and It is. Oh, it very much is. Hell, it was outdated probably five years after it, they started using it. Well, I mean, they don't. if they're not considering people online, that's retarded. Because, because most, that's how most people if, do it. Some that's people how most people do They don't pay for cable. They don't have a TV. They have a computer. Most, most people... How There's many at least people, one computer right. in every home. How many people don't have cable anymore? Or, like, you know, a cable-like service, you know? They have internet, fiber, and they can watch it. all that other stuff. A lot of people... Hell, phone! Your phone! A lot of people cancel. Have free data, you know, and they sit there and watch shit on their phone. I heard the statistic, actually, this week. Was it 28%, I want to say? I'm probably very wrong about that, but... You know, it, a pretty decent percentage of people, you know, just canceled their television service because they watch everything through the internet. Yep. Yeah. A lot of people do that because they watch things through Netflix or Hulu or any of those other that on-demand, a la carte type, um, you know, places. So they're so, not yeah. keeping up with the times. At the very least, network television isn't keeping up with the times. No. Network television companies look at live look at live views because that, that's just how that's just how they want to work and they're not keeping up with the times because like now that we have Netflix and Hulu and things like that that's what people are using and you're not taking advantage of it get with the times Disney Mm-mm. and then if you do want to watch it on their site you have to either have a cable subscription or pay for it yeah which is ridiculous in itself 
and we, Which well, is we actually can get involved. I praise the CW because the CW doesn't ask you to put no. any information no. in; it just lets you watch with commercials, and yes. that's how it all should be. It's like great yeah, job. They use their I hate you for other things. I love you for that. Yeah, they use their commercials probably to pay for the service itself. You know, the ad revenue from it. And a lot of companies are looking at that and saying, you know, putting commercials and stuff like that, and that they're probably making more money that way than they would be on, you know, regular network TV. And another problem is availability. Um, there are some networks that aren't putting out episodes or even, or not even, you know, showing reruns of older shows, but you have people who want to give you their money, you're just not providing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm happy that, you know, when the show is, like, on its last legs, like, you know, as far as the network is concerned and everything, one bad habit I've noticed ABC's had over the past n number of years is just axing the show and not airing the rest of the episodes. They did that this season with Time After Time. They just uh -huh. said, yep, fuck it. We're done. Um, they, they've done it with a few shows. There was a, another sci-fi show I watched a few years back, Defying Gravity. They cut that at, like, episode 8, and they're like, yeah, we filmed up to 13, but... Yeah, you're not going to see it. We're not going to see, see it. it. And then somehow You'll the Space Channel in Canada got their hands on it, and they aired the last five episodes. <laughs> Firefly. There you go. So it's like, or well, Fox pulled the Firefly. You know, it's like they yeah. fucked up Firefly. Yeah, that's why whenever any channel does anything like that, I just say they have pulled a Fox. I don't care what the most recent, you mm -hmm. know, egregious thing is from a different channel. I don't but, care. I always call it the Fox. But you know, Fox has been very forgiving in their as they've gotten older here. Yeah, they just canceled Sleepy Hollow, so... But you won't cancel The Simpsons. People watch it still. Yeah, and I enjoy it, but... It's still know. entertaining. They'll cancel it's The like, Simpsons no, when... It, 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 it's like SpongeBob, it won't die. Right, they'll cancel that when the creators don't want to do it anymore. Or it stops is, being funny. Yeah, well, why couldn't you do that with Futurama? I don't know. I love Futurama. I love yeah. Futurama. Because you got to realize something. The general populace isn't, like, as much as this pains me, like, the general population isn't into sci-fi, apparently. Yeah. yeah it it's doesn't make niche. sense to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's no, a sci-fi channel. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me either because we all grew up. Even, I mean, you know, Star 10 Wars years, uh, even Trek. 10 years, uh, you know, older than me or even 10 years younger than me. We all grew up in that era of, space exploration and all you know all these space stuff star wars was one of them then there and was star, it's coming, and star trek and it's coming back star, and it's coming like, back with um they I mean, keep star pushing it back. though star trek is coming back guardians of the galaxy like sci-fi is coming back y'all sci-fi is best is, but people are getting into like the shows well they suck some of the shows do suck yeah this no 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 i'm suck? saying the people suck for not getting yes. into the shows people uh, do suck I, but they don't, they're not getting into the shows. I mean, the only ones that are really sustaining themselves is like Doctor Who, which is a British show. That's totally different than American shows. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I think, I think people are good. At, this is a superhero show, it's also a spy show. And I think people, uh, I think this show is getting overshadowed by other shows like, um, like Supergirl and, um, <clears throat> You know, and well, actually, a lot of the DC shows actually, and Marvel doesn't actually have a lot of. They don't have a lot of network television shows. They only have Shield. They had Agent Carter. That's gone. Um, I think I don't over that one. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Personally, what I think is happening, it's too many freaking reality shows. Dancing with the Stars, Big Brother. I mean, granted, these oh. shows have you know, I, you know, yeah. There's too many. There's too many of them. I mean, they were. I mean, some of these are going like what 15 20 years already it's like at the time it was a big thing it was the new big thing and they just keep bleeding it and bleeding it i'm sick of it i have reason why i don't even watch tv half the time their um, profit margins are so high because their overhead is so low now you want to hear yep. the part of uh, the cringe part from my brain here i'm driving to work this morning and well, errands and then work but I'm listening to the radio and they're talking about how why do you listen to the radio there was nothing else to do my i don't have that's them. My truck has an old stereo system. I can't hook my phone up to it. It sucks. Uh. Anyway, I'm listening to the radio, and it's like ABC now has picked up the 
charred, mangled remains of American Idol, and they're bringing yeah, it back. Yeah, right? What? Yeah, I heard about that. There are like what? 40 other singing reality shows. But here's what they're oh, what? doing. The here's what they're doing. America's Got no, Talent. No, here's what they're doing. They're changing it. What are they doing? American Idol is no longer going from city to city. All the auditions will be held at Disney World and Disneyland. Uh, is what they're talking about. And they say it will save them on that huge... It will save them production costs because they don't have to fly the judges all over the country. They're trying to to get Kelly Clarkson to be a judge. I know that much. They were trying to get Kelly Clarkson to be a judge. That was one of them. And they're trying to get Adam Lambert to be another judge. Adam, don't do it. But that's I mean, it I makes heard. sense. It makes Hate sense. Adam Lambert. No, oh my Wait, God, am no. I thinking of the no. right a- Adam? Adam Which Lambert is touring with Queen right now. Oh, really? Oh, uh-huh. I'm thinking of the wrong Adam. I'm sorry. No, no I like Are Adam Lambert. Of Adam no, Levine? no. Adam Levine's different. Adam, Adam Levine, five. yeah. I hate Adam Levine. <laughs> Anyway, no, I mean, no, just, she's but, born with Queen. You, you, you mentioned, this. you know, the reality <laughs> shows, and they're dragging that back from the depths. And one of the people, on, you know, on the morning show I was listening to, they're like, why could they actually said these words? Why couldn't they just leave it dead? Like, Fox canceled it for a reason. It got old. There's so many different clone shows out there. There are so many out there, and it needs to stop. I'm sorry, all this reality TV just needs to stop because it's we, we not have a good we all, show here. We all know it's not reality anymore. We know that editing, editing things and script, they're saying you need to do this, and we know that there's producers behind the scenes saying, and, "Oh, so and so said this about you," when actually they didn't say that about. They're trying to start drama. And it, we like, know it's yeah, we know it. Like you know, we've known for a while that the audition you're seeing on American Idol in front of Simon and whoever else is judging there with them is, you know, that's like their third or fourth audition. They've already gotten past how many rounds of producers. So Mm. if someone gets up there and they're singing terrible, it's because some producer was like, yeah, this will get a laugh for the TV audience. So, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is going to be funny. So we're just going to like, yeah, great job. You're moving on. And like, crush their hopes and dreams. William Hung. William Hung. Yeah, that was just a practical fucking joke, I think. But we digress. But we digress. Yeah, We're yeah, ranting so about the, reality think, shows. The point, the point well, is, I, the point this is, is a good show. The kill, point is, is the next episode is called World's End. It is the season finale. With the surprising emergence of Ghost Rider, Coulson and the team attempt to stop Ada from ending the world on the exciting season finale. Ooh. Everybody watch. Agents Everybody tune Shields. in. Everybody tune in and watch. We could possibly save this show if it's in danger of being canceled. And stop, stop watching your reality shows, your reality shows. And... um. <laughs> Watch, some, watch, 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 watch the show with actual writing and actual acting. Exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. what was that Stop one? Stop watching the reality shows. Anyway. On topic. S.H.I.E.L.D. I love this show. I love it, too. I love it a lot more it, than... It, made, it, made, it makes some mistakes. It makes some mistakes, you it know? It makes some mistakes, but you know what? I enjoyed the season a lot more, like especially the second half of the season, a lot more than I initially thought I was going to. Yes. Yeah. We got and like a combination like, Matrix uh, Inception thing going on here. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like we're going to get some, you know, storylines that we left off um, from the first half that are coming back. That's good. Because um, I want to, you know, I want to see Ghost Rider again. Because, like, he was a big selling point for the season. He was gone. But even, you know, with in his absence, I've still enjoyed the season. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. So, hey, Sally Noble in chat says, Oh, I hate reality shows. Anyway, yeah, but that's, that's another podcast. That is another podcast, and that's an idea for a podcast. I like it. There we go. That's our show. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Cleo. Where find you? Can they? They find me. Can at Cleo Moto. <laughs> Jake, how about you? You can find me and all my giggles and gore and my monsters and mayhem here on YouTube on Jacob Salazar. Or you can find me on Twitter, tweeting me throughout the week, throughout the life at Two Nowhere Land. That is C O N O W H E R E L E N D. Join the Nowhere Land Society. He has expanded his outro. Rachel, where I they expanded find you? it. They can like find it. me at Twitter at not Savannah Seventeen at Viking Witch Seventy Six oh, and at Twitch at Viking Witch. Change it really quickly. Just you know, it, it, no, it, there's no way I can do it seamlessly or quickly, unfortunately. Fix it in post. I have how many of these presentations saved? It's, I, Just get rid of that How many I got to update? 
You can find me on Twitter at Philander, and you can find all of us on Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Google+, Plus, MySpace, and YouTube at ASOTV Podcast. You can follow us at those places for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows, movies, and games. Bye. Protest against reality shows. You know, there will come a day. Except except for Survivor. Survivor's there good. will come a day when we'll have to devote, like, two minutes at the end of a show just for Jake's outro. Why? Because he keeps expanding. Oh. It's going to be this whole thing. You just watch a whole long thing.